With just weeks to go until 1st Battalion, the Royal Irish, are deployed to Afghanistan, final preparations are underway. Training is centred around possible scenarios that could occur when out in Kabul. Their main role during their six-month tour will be providing armoured force protection to NATO advisers. The battalion is constantly going away to different places. We've been to Kenya, we've been to Germany, Spain. Uh, we're trying to get away from the more conventional sort of warfare now because obviously we're going into a built-up city uh, and we're doing a different job. We're going to be uh, guardian angels for people. We're going to be training and assisting uh, the Afghan government. So obviously our, our uh, training this time is getting away from war fighting uh, to you know, assisting the Afghans, helping them out instead of just purely fighting. You know? So obviously, uh, yeah, it's, it's changed in that sort of sense. For many of the soldiers, this isn't their first time to Afghanistan. I asked them how they're feeling about returning. Yeah, of course, obviously, you know, you, you get you get that nervousness because you're, you know, at the end of the day, you're going to one of the most dangerous cities in the world. But we are very well protected in our foxhounds, and you know, the training that we've done, you know, has given us all a certain skill set to meet anything, you know, that, that, that we'll face out there. But yeah, of course, there's always that nervousness, you know, that something might happen, but. It's a good nervousness. It's a nervousness that makes you ready, you know, to meet anything. And I think if you didn't have that, there would be, there would be something wrong, you know, so, yeah. Well, look, I've been in the Army 18 years, um, and one of the things I've seen is the way that the campaign has matured over that time. And one of the things I find quite rewarding is when I was out there two weeks ago um, flying over Kabul, just how vibrant a city Kabul is now, with its, um, with its wedding halls and its restaurants, all buzzing. Um, so. We have a sense that we're in the end game at the moment. It's always very tentative, but we're optimistic about the way Kabul's going. It can be hard, yeah, especially so I've got a wee lad who's four years old and it's just kind of it's missing him really and it's thinking about how he's, how he's feeling me being away out a period of time. But luckily the uh, locations we're at, which is quite um, it's well sustained within the welfare facilities, so you do have like some Wi-Fi there, so I can just give him, whenever I have a bit of time off at night in the evenings or whatever, I can just give him a wee FaceTime call, we messages back and forth phone calls, whatever it is, so that's, that helps out with that. But again, it's just it's just being away for that kind of duration period of time. Soldiers from One Royal Irish will depart for Kabul from the end of April.